This is Fuji-Q Highland, and this has some of Japan's most insane roller coasters. So what is it like visiting my first international theme park? Stay tuned to find out. Flashback. Hey everyone, welcome to 808 Coaster Life. Today we are here in, <laughs> you never would have guessed this, Japan, because we're about to visit my first international theme park, Fuji-Q Highland, where we're gonna ride some of Japan's most insane roller coasters yet. I'm really excited for Echinaika, Fujiyama, Takabisha, Zokon, and all the other stuff Fuji-Q Highland has to offer. I'll admit that I did not do the most research before visiting this park, so we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna wing it, we'll ride what we ride, and then that'll be that. You guys excited? <laughs> all right, let's go. So you may be wondering, what am I doing in Japan of all places? Well, this is mainly a family trip. We're actually planning on hiking Mount Fuji. So uh, if this vlog is posted, I either made it to the top or I gave up somehow. Meet the fan. Yeah, look at that. They literally place a selfie stand so we can take a picture with the entrance. Crazy. So to enter the park, you scan your face. That way, if you want to leave the park and come back in, you just scan your face and they'll let you in. Hey, Jesse, what ride are you most excited for? I don't know any other rides you. Do I look? Hey, Jensen, what ride are you most excited for? You know, I don't know the names of any of them, but whichever one goes upside down the most, the best one for me. It's probably that one. Also, these lines here are supposed to take you to whatever ride you want. So it looks like we're gonna do Ejinaika or Zokan first. So we should probably follow the orange line. We're about to get on Zokan pretty soon. They need a warm up ride. guys we just got off Zocon at Fuji Q. Personally very intense ride for me. I know it's not up there with the other rides we're about to ride today but for me the leaning forward really attributed to the intensity of the ride you know I felt like I was closer to the track so good ride 8 out of 10. Zocon was a really fun ride in particular I did not know there was a soundtrack on the ride so that was honestly way better than I expected. It was really fun. Some of the moments were even intense too. Pretty whippy as well. Overall, fantastic ride. And definitely do this if you're, you know, not into the super big thrills that you're gonna get here. <laughs> This is honestly so sad. <laughs> just putting this in the defunct coasters category. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. See, I don't know what's more sad, missing out on this or on Sky Rush. So we just got off of Fujiyama. If I were to describe this ride in one word, it would be unhinged. This ride is really fun in the first half. Honestly, it provides some pretty good floater airtime, but the second half is so brutal, it's really funny. It's not painful, but you can tell this ride is a little older. We rode in the front row, so we might go on it again in the back because the line is surprisingly really short, maybe because it was supposed to rain today, but it's not, so the park is not too busy, which I'm really thankful for, I'll be honest. What are you guys' thoughts on Fujiyama? <laughs> Don't 
<laughs> they need to recover from this crying. <laughs> so what did you think of Fujiyama? Um, well, I'll say a few things. First, I thought it was very rough and it felt like something was wrong with how much I got shooken up and tossed side to side. Also, I was impressed with how well I handled the G-forces. Okay. I didn't feel like it was impossible. Third, I felt like if it went on even a moment longer than it did, I would have not been able to make it to the end. It ended at the exact moment. Damn, very well said. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind, Fujiyama's a little older, so don't expect it to be the smoothest ride ever. All right, it is time to follow the orange line. For those of you who've been here, you'll know where that takes you. So we are in line to ride possibly the most insane coaster I've ever done. This is a Janaika. This is basically Japanese X2. Are you excited? Yes, Are you guys excited? It's a mix. They're nervous. I don't feel anything anymore. I think you guys got this. Bye! I just got off of Edge of Nika. I'm honestly speechless. This is like everything I was hoping for in X2 and like even more. This ride fixed the one thing I complained about on X2, which is that it kind of had a dead spot in the middle, but Edge of Nika, there's like no dead spots whatsoever. I'd say it's about as shaky as X2, but this is like one of the best coasters you can ride. Probably is better than X2, which means might be my favorite coaster ever. Really good ride. Uh, we're gonna get lunch right now. This looks so good. How good is it? It's like a very tasty French fry. Yes. They did not know that there's only two seats on this ride. <laughs> All right, change of plans. We're not doing Voyage Duns Le Ciel. I think we're gonna do either Zokan again, because they really want to, or get on Takabisha. All right, Jensen, what's your review on this park so far? You know, personally, I really do appreciate the layout being very close to each other. It's also very easy to find all the rides. All you have to do is look for the ride and then go to the base of it and you'll find where to get in. Um, but you know, all in all, you got some great coasters in this park. I still think Mount Spray Farm is better. However, there still hasn't been a coaster here that made me scared enough where I don't want to go back on. And that's what I'm looking for. This park hasn't done it, but it is really cool though because there's different themes. It's a different language than usual. Food is pretty good too, you know? But other than that, I give this park an eight and a half out of 10. What is that coaster called? Okay guys, me and 808 Coaster Life here just got off Takabisha. Personally, that was my favorite ride here. I believe because of the train being so small, everything was just way more intense. Um, there was a lot of airtime, which is actually my favorite quality in roller coasters. And also the drop was 121 degrees, which held the world record in 2011. They kind of stopped us at the top of the drop and we were just facing down for like three seconds and yeah. It was a great ride all in all. What do you think, 808 Coaster Life? That was overall a really fun ride. Not particularly too intense, although we just did a Janaika earlier. So I'm kind of spoiled a little bit. Still overall a pretty fun coaster. The lodge was really good, way better than I expected. Some inversions gave some good hang time as well. It's a little rattly, but that's okay. And the drop was fun as well. A little slower than I expected, but it's understandable considering how steep it is. So I just got my merch. And another great thing about this park is there is a 7-Eleven like right outside the park entrance. So isn't that like amazing? 
later that same evening. Okay, so that's probably gonna do it for this vlog. We did not do a full day here because first of all, we got to the park a little late and we had to leave early because we needed to get a lot of rest. But overall, I got to do all that I wanted to do. We managed to get one ride on the three major coasters there plus Zocon. The lines weren't too long either. I'd say the maximum we waited for was like 30 minutes, <laughs> yeah. which is not bad compared to some of the horror stories that I had. Operations were definitely not the best here, but it's for a reason. They take safety and just organization in general very seriously. You know, once they get more family rides, I would recommend this park to basically anyone. Right now, I would still recommend this more towards thrill seekers. There's still stuff for the family to do, but I would say like, not enough. If you're a coaster enthusiast, you definitely should visit here because I think I just found myself a new favorite coaster. All right, do you guys have any final thoughts? Here, yeah, let me go in your spot. Oh wait. That was my first theme park I've been to since, I believe, Hershey Park. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's been about three years since the last time I've been to a theme park and man, I miss those coasters, man. I mean... Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's three great things about this park. Number one, it was in Japan and everything was very organized and clean. And this is my first time in Japan as well. Um, it was really cool and you know. And with the scenery as well, you had Mount Fuji. Um, this is not Mount Fuji here, but as you can see right here. <laughs> Very nice scenery everywhere, so I just added to the vibes of the park. Second best thing, there were four coasters and I, one of them is a what? An extreme coaster? Huh? What is it called? Extreme coaster? No, no, like the... <laughs> oh, 4D coaster? No, the coaster that's like... Hyper coaster? Yeah, hyper coaster. Okay. One of them was a hyper coaster and I'm pretty sure that was my first hyper coaster. Technically there's two hypers. <laughs> Ejinaika and Fujiyama. Great coasters, but in my opinion, what was the last one I wrote? Takabisha. My opinion, Takabisha was the best coaster there just because of the airtime. And you know, for me, airtime is my favorite quality in the coaster, so. And one of them was actually a Japanese manufacturer, which is, that's the first time I've ever rode a Japanese manufactured coaster. Oh my God! Wow! So, me too. And yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I distracted. Uh, so pretty much, they said everything, but I just wanted to say, uh, just everything was nice. Like the operators are nice. And also, like, it's pretty cool how you can get food. <laughs> 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 Well, that's gonna do it for this vlog. And let me know down in the comments what you think of this park, whether you've been to it or not. Here are some other videos you should watch. And if you enjoyed this one, consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.